Hi, beautiful guys and gals. Taylor here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet. Last time, uh, we set off in this, uh, rocky-like area. Uh, we helped Arvin defeat the very first Titan Pokemon. And he made a sandwich for us using the herb, uh, the Herba Mystica herb that we attained from the Titan Pokemon. And turns out he's been hiding some stuff from us. Apparently, he said, okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. So... I have a feeling that he's got a Pokemon here that's very sick. But anyway, this time, uh, we are going to continue on. So let's go. Uh, how about we start things off... Uh, don't crawl towards me, you son of a bitch. Sorry. Um, ooh, uh, is this a... Reflect. Yeah, you can find, uh, TMs and items and Pokeballs throughout the game, so... Uh, you creepy thing. Go away. Go away. Alright. Let's get on Coriadin and ride around for a bit. Alright. Alrighty. Do I want to take on the gym? Or do I want to take on the first member of Team Star? Which is the fire crew. You know what? I think we'll do that first. We'll we'll do the we'll do Team Star next. We did a gym battle uh, in the episode before the last episode, so whoops! I didn't mean to run into you. Oh yeah, as it also last time our uh, Quaxley evolved into Quaxwell, so Todoroki's looking good, don't you think? Oh yeah. Hold on. Also, last episode, we caught our final team member, Soul Miner. So we've got Todoroki the Quaxwell, Soul Miner the Shinx, Kirishima the Fletchling, Kaminari the Palmy, Bakugo the Fido, and Midoriya the Vivian. So that is our final team that I'm going to play, that, that I'm going to do the rest of this playthrough in. Unless, for some of our reason, I run into a favorite Poke of mine. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. Um, in my other profile... Oops. <laughs> I keep running into Pokemon without meaning to. No. Um, no. Um, I ran into a group of Shinx out here and I ended up finding a shiny Pokemon. I can't, I'm not joking yet. It was a full-on gold Shinx. And I was so excited. Because Soul Miner, a.k.a. my boyfriend, if you guys remember, uh, he's caught three shiny Pokemon already. Two of them are the pig Pokemon, Lechonk, and one of them is a shiny Steenie, which I am very upset about. I'm like, you can't give me your shiny Steenie? Selfish. Alright, we gotta... We gotta figure out how to get out of here. Uh oh. Let's watch where we're going. Oh. Oh yeah, from the sandwich we ate, Koryadin can now dash. So, that's a good thing. Alright. There you go. Ah, don't touch me. Have I caught this thing? Okay, yeah, I did. No! Let me get away. Ow. My god, I am running into Pokemon without even meaning to. Uh, no, wrong button. Wrong button. Right. Oh, my God.
Why does it take two tries for me to get away? It is, isn't it? Are you sure about that? Gasly, go Kaminari! Kaminari, nuzzle, let's go! Never mind, you got hypnotized. That is very stupid. Come on, Kaminari! Okay, so your eyes do close. I guess some Pokemon's eyes just doesn't close. Ew! Come on, Kaminari, wake up! There we go. Thunder shock. Uh oh. Owie! That hurts. You know what? Let's send out Kirishima. Because I do not want Kaminari dying. Use Peck. Good, I didn't want to switch out anyway. Ember! Awesome! Kaminari wants to learn dig! Yes, please. See a scratch. Murkrow. Yes, we will switch. Let's send out Soul Miner next. Murkrow. Thunder Shock. You know what? Just add salt to the moon. Charge increases the power of the next electric type move that's used. So. I'm sure you'll be able to find your treasure. Well, thank you. Wait, what? Soul Miner's evolving already? It feels like we just caught you last time. Now you're already evolving. Wow. Soul Miner has evolved into Luxio. Okay. Luxio, the spark Pokemon, an electric type and the evolved form of Shinx. Strong electricity courses through the tips of its sharp claws. A light scratch causes fainting in foes. Cool. Huh? What? Kirishima's evolving too? Awesome! We got two more members evolving. Alright, Kirishima has evolved into Fletchender. Fletchender, the Ember Pokemon, a fire and flying type and the evolved form of Fletchling. Fletchender scatters embers in tall grass where bug Pokemon might be hiding and then catches them as they come leaping out. Kirishima wants to learn Flame Charge. Oh yeah. See you later, Flail. I hardly ever use that move. Wow, that was a really eventful battle. Two of my team members evolved. Two more, I should say. Because if you remember, uh, Midoriya and Todoroki evolved last episode. There we 
Get on Coriadin. I know it's that way, but I want to go get more Pokeballs and go heal. So. Don't run into anything. Don't run into anything. Heal everybody up. Thank you. All right. Time to go. Hello there. It's an Oricorio. Oh. Shock. Let's go. Oh, just a little more. tries. That's good. All right. Oricorio, the dancing Pokemon. Ballet style, or Bally style, however you say it. A fire and flying type. This Pokemon is incredibly popular, possibly because its passionate dancing is a great match with the temperament of paladin people. I will not lie, this Pokemon right here was really helpful um, in my match against the next gym leader that we're supposed to face. But I've got I've got uh, Kirishima, my Fletchinger, so I think we'll be good. All right, what's this? Whoa! Oh, I thought I crashed. Jump! Jump! Okay. Turn out of oh! Oops. 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 I didn't mean to fall in here. <laughs> I 
I did not mean to fall in. I was trying. <laughs> uh, that was that was a complete accident. <laughs> Fling, huh? Come on, jump! Oh my God, cry it in! You can totally make that jump. Now you're just bullshitting me. Oh, I wonder what Pokemon we can find out here. Oh, <gasps> is that? It is! It's a Paldean Tauros! Oh, but this is a little scary. Uh. Switch out to Todoroki because Kaminari does not stand a chance. Shima the Fletchender. Our newly evolved Fletchender. Plane charge. Go, you're next. Let's catch you in a grape hole since you're in the 20s. <laughs> Critical catch, baby. Woohoo! You, you caught Tauros. Oh, Bakugo wants to learn play rough. Yes, please. Uh, uh, let's ask for advice. Yeah, I think I'll get rid of Covet. Awesome. All right. Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon, a fighting type, Paldean form. This Pokemon has a muscular body and excels at close quarter combat. It's used to it uses its short horns to strike the opponent's weak spots. Oh, I don't want to give Tauros a nickname. I can't believe it's I thought it was Dark type. Let's get let's get out of here. We need, to, we need to go heal. I don't even think we have any revives. Do we? Nope. Alright, let's go heal. <laughs> no, I did I did not mean to uh um <laughs> I did not mean to jump that cliff and fall in. <laughs> Oh, oh my word. 
crying and you're driving me nuts. You know what? Uh, we'll save fighting the fire boss in the, for the next episode. Let's take on the gym of this, of this, uh, of this city artisan or whatever. All right, there's the gym. The next one. Um, yes, I believe this is the grass type gym. Hey, it's Nimona! Yep, that's me. A Sunflora game of hide and seek. Interesting. Alright, I need to gather up 10 Sunflora and bring them. And bring them to the gym staffer. Okay. right over here nice all right I'm ready all right one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten ready or not here I come sorry I had to All right, we gotta find 10 Sunflora. Should be a hard task. Hmm. Nope, that's a statue. That's not what we're looking for. I know what Sunflora look like. Oh, there's one. Hi. Come on, Sunflora, let's go. Two, three, four. wow, we already found four Sunflora right off the bat. Gotta do a better job of hiding than that. No, the first one was in a really good hiding spot. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. Where'd it go? It's gone. Weird. I like this music that's playing, though. Oh, there's one. Six. 
Clever. Went right by his statue. Alright, we gotta find three more. Oh, I think I see one in the distance. Yep. Eight. Okay, there's nine and ten. All right, found them all. Now to the sun floor lawn. Oh, I'm gonna laugh if we end up battling a sun flora in the uh, in the gym. <laughs> Challenge Brassius, the Verdant Virtoso. Virtoso. Yes, I am. I was, I was starting to get worried that it froze. Greetings, Challenger. Huh? What? Um, is that a glitch? I was gonna say, is he floating? Hi there. You did well to come this far. I'm Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed of finding some flora was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. I agree. <laughs> yep, I'm ready. Bring it on, Gracias. First up is Petalil, all right. Kama. Kaminari's not really a good match. Yeah, I don't think Kaminari's a good matchup for this. So let's go into Midoriya, the Vivian. Great, putting Midoriya to sleep right off the bat. Come on, Midoriya, wake up. Uh, 
So you expected to, that to do something. It didn't do much. Come on, Midoriya, wake up. If it doesn't wake up by the next turn, I'm using an awakening. All right, there we go. Four. Nice. All right, great job, Midoriya. Small in. All right. I know, it might be a bit of a disadvantage because it's part water type, but we know a flying type move. Wing attack. See? See, Todoroki took that like it was nothing. Low kick. Pseudo Budo. Uh. Uh, we'll keep him in. Oh, this is his final Pokemon. I didn't realize that. Oh, boy. You know what? Let's bring it out. Time to terrestrialize. Wudo? What the hell? Oh, of course it's gotta be part grass. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be very effective. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Ouch. Thanks, Todoroki. I would have used uh, I would have used Kirishima, but it's territorizing type is normal, so we can't do it that way. Kirishima? Flame charge, go! You cheating bastard! Oh man, uh, let's go with the Midoriya next. No, I called him that because uh, he wasn't supposed to go first. You cheating bastard! So got two of my best Pokemon. Ludo Ludo, you are not supposed to go first. You are slow as fuck. All right, now what? All right, let's go with Soul Miner now. Bite! Oh, because it's using Trailblaze! You 
gonna cut it out with that trailblaze crap. Awesome. I know we're wasting a hydrocosha, but Soul Miner needs it. Otherwise, we're going to lose. Quit it. Fight. So be paralyzed. Oh my God, the pseudo voodoo. Let's send out Bakugo next. All right, Bakugo took it out. Nice. Child Bakugo. Oh, dude, you are so angry. Well, you know how pissed off you made me by knocking out half my team? You guys can read this. Anyway. You may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Sure. Oh, that son of a bitch moves. Trailblaze. <laughs> <coughs> That pseudo voodoo just to not be paralyzed. Not for one second. That's was stupid. Uh, hello. Yeah, that's me. Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four in the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the academy. Art classes? I want to find my treasure. Sure, maybe. But yeah, in my other profile, I barely go to the academy and take classes. I just go out and uh, explore the world like you're supposed to. My poor team. Language class and art class.
There we go. All right. All right, guys. Well, I'm ending this episode off here. In the next episode, we will take on Team Star's Fire Boss. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!